Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. We're going to go through a new story today and it begins with anger as a 95-year-old told to take out her bins. Now I just want to give you some background to this first of all. So here in the UK we have to put our bins on the street for them to be collected and emptied. So we have large bins which are referred to as wheelie bins and we must put those on the street. Depending on your relationship with your neighbours, if you live in a, an apartment block, someone may do this for you. But the council employees, the people who come to empty the bins, will not come upon your property to collect them. They used to, but they don't any more. Depending on the council and depending on their funding, you may be able to request them to help you if you're old or infirm. As money is tight these days for everyone, more and more councils are refusing to do this. A council is simply a local area government. Now we're going to read through a story here about what's happened to a 95-year-old. Now bearing in mind that here in the UK, we don't generally mix with our neighbours unless we know them very well or are related to them. As I've often told you, we view um, the government almost like our mother or father. We expect them to do the things which perhaps in your country is done by a community. Now we're going to go through this story, okay? So it begins... A 95-year-old woman has been told to make her own meals and take out her bins after care visits were cut to save money. The pensioner's son said his mum had been left quite upset and she was basically bullied into carrying out tasks which had previously been done by her carers. Now, just to give you some background to this, if you are old or in farm, or if you're unable to cook food for yourself, or if you have any medical condition, the local government will try to arrange care for you. They can send in nurses. They also can arrange for people to come and cook your food. Everyone's circumstance is different and everyone is evaluated differently, and then what they call a care package is allocated to you, usually by the social work departments, which is run by the government. So, for example, if you go into hospital, and while you're there, the doctor asks about your lifestyle, he may ask for a social worker to come and help you. When she comes, she will assess what you need and she will arrange it before the hospital lets you go home. So, this story continues. Under her care package from the council, she was receiving four visits per day, but now carers only visit three times a week to help her with showering. Changes were made following a review of her care and the local council concerned also faced a budget gap of almost 10 million. So to help cover that shortfall, that uh, budget problem, they changed the way they operated. Those people who were thought to be in low or moderate need of care, are directed to community, charitable people and other organisations. The 
council said, well, everyone knows the council is strapped for money these days, but I don't think the public is aware of what happens and how we save money. A spokesperson for the council said that they will review the mother's package to see if there's anything else they can do. They said all residents are seeing changes to services due to a funding gap. And then the story continues talking about this woman's uh, care package and also just to mention her disease and why they expect the council to continue uh, to assist her. It says here, there was an assessment in November last year where a reviewer asked the lady to carry out tasks which are usually completed by her carers. And then shortly afterwards, the woman was advised that her care package had been amended. But they didn't tell her family because, of course, if the family knew, they may try to help. Previously, she had helped to prepare meals, wash up and take out rubbish. They're now saying that's no longer the carer's duty. Two complaints have been made about this by her family to the local council. Now, I do know that where I live, the local council, if you have any problems with moving your rubbish, you simply ask them and they will come and do it for you. If it's been designated that a carer, someone who comes in to help you will do it, then that's also equally suitable. So either way, I would have thought that her bins would have been moved. The story here though, I don't think is so much about the bins. It's all about her care package. It says here, we understand how upsetting changes to formal care packages can be for people and we are trying to work with people and support their families to find other ways to save money. This will allow the council and its partnerships to continue to provide care and support to those with greatest needs. It will also help us to achieve the best possible outcomes for residents while closing our funding gap. If you complain to the council, especially if you live in a rural area, there's a good chance that they will reverse their decision. If it's just about the bins, the bin men and the council workers will be very happy to collect the bins for the lady concerned. So here, when it's saying that she's been told to take out the bins herself, that's not really accurate. What she's been told is make other arrangements because we can't keep sending a care person to you three times a day. Now it will be three times a week. So this should be a good thing because perhaps it means she's recovering or getting better. But here, this issue of the bins particularly has made the headline news. I think possibly it's to make the headline more sensational. Strictly speaking, they have taken the person away that puts out the bin, but there's plenty of other things that can be done, and I'm sure the council would be very happy to help with that. Having said all of that, though, it does show how much we rely on the care system. If you go to hospital and you have any kind of uh, impairment which would stop you cooking or looking after yourself, the hospital, the social work department and the family will sit down and discuss what is needed. If you are someone who has a lot of money, they may ask you to pay 
for a little bit of the care. But in certain areas, that care is provided free. As you can hear, things are definitely changing and more and more councils are saying that they can't afford to give everyone everything. Generally speaking, though, here in the UK, everyone has a good quality of life because you only have to ask for something and it will be given to you. Of course, you may be assessed, but I think a nurse coming in three times a week is probably better than no one coming in. But I suppose if you're accustomed to something and then it changes, well, maybe that's quite upsetting for everyone concerned. I know that my mother, when she was alive, she had someone who came in to do the housework for her and to take her out places. She didn't really need it, but it was suggested to her after she was in the hospital, so she took it because it was free. But with my mother, she ended up doing all the housework before the woman came. It seemed rather bizarre, and it was the same situation with my grandmother. When people know that the government are going to help you, sometimes it's a bit of a discouragement for helping yourself. I would say that the care packages people receive here, not only are they very, very good, but they're almost exceptional. It depends on which part of the country you are, but here in the UK, although our old people suffer a lot from loneliness, they don't suffer from being looked after well. My mother used to say, though, no matter how many people come to see you, nothing is better than family. And I think that also is true, because if you have a stranger coming in, then it may seem a little bit strange. Everyone wants to see a friendly face. So that's a new story from today, all about a woman who says that she has to take out her own bins. Although in further investigation into the story, it's not quite as straightforward as that. They're simply reducing her care, which means that other people have to take responsibilities and that's probably going to be other departments of the government who will be happy to help her. And it looks like her son is around as well to help. He's complaining that her care is being reduced. But I'm sure the other departments and other people who are willing to help, like charities and other care in the community efforts, will be more than willing to come to see her. Wow, that's just a little glimpse into the UK. I hope you've enjoyed this. See you. Bye.